corner here. That is Tim's soap. So I packed this, I don't know, a few days ago. I got like six waters. I got like five bags of shrimp chips and one bag of these potato chips. <laughs> yeah, the shrimp chips is good. These are good. And I got these from Costco. So I got, I was ready, right? So my adventure pretty much started on Friday. And then my in check-in was actually at 4 p.m. I live about like an hour away, but I didn't want to drive back and forth. So I needed a place to stay. Uh, and parking is expensive. Like from what I heard, it was like 60 bucks a day. Uh, you might as well just go and park like far away or something or park at your hotel and then Uber to the place. So that's kind of the plan of what I did. I also didn't get a TwitchCon ticket. So um, compared to 2019, which I did get a ticket from 2019, my experience was I only went in for like a little bit just to meet up with people and stuff like that because like walking around and the, I went to see the boots and stuff, but the boots didn't have much. It was just like demos and stuff like that. <sighs> so I pretty much didn't get a ticket because I most of the time I was going to be outside wandering around. Uh, meeting people outside the con and like eating foods and stuff like that. So that's why I didn't do it. But this year, apparently, there's a lot of free stuff. So looking back at it, maybe I should have got a ticket when, especially when the Dev Sisters, the maker of Cookie Run Kingdom, right? Cookie Run Kingdom, right? Okay. The maker. I have a BTS collab, by the way, that's dropping like on October 12th or 13th. So I, I kind of wanted to get a ticket just for that, to be honest. But um, in the end, I didn't. Because <laughs> I don't know if it's worth it to see this for one booth. But I should have gone in hindsight. I should have gone in. <laughs> but but if I did get it, I still have I would have to pick up my badge. I don't want to pick up the badge day of because that would be just like a waste of time. It would be a waste of time. So I pretty much just going to um save myself a hotel or whatever instead of going thursday and getting it i could just go thursday and then drive back home but that seems like a waste of gas i'm not doing that so prior to this i did get i did sign up i did fill out a form when i raided melly before when she was playing omega strikers that's when i was playing omega strikers right and then she said she's going twitchcon if you guys want to hang out and stuff fill out the form and then she make a discord so that's what happened. And then we made plans for Korean barbecue and karaoke later at night. This is all happening on Friday, by the way. Okay. Um, so, uh, I fairly knew to her community though, but I was like, why not? I might as well do it. I don't know who else is going at the moment. So I just did it. <laughs> and since I was probably going to get hungry again, right before I go, I decided to go down earlier and get myself tasty pot. So. I got Tasty Pot right here. This is the picture of Tasty Pot. I got the beef, the number one uh, beef pot, pot soup and stuff. It had like, I didn't like the taro, the taro cakes that they have in there. I, I, I don't know. I saw that you order from your phone. Okay. So you go there, there's like, you scan this QR code, open the menu. I got mild, so it's not too spicy, but yeah, so. This was, was this, it's great. It, it's good. I, this is like my favorite hot pot place thus far. Tasty pot because it's individual and it's still a good portion. It also came with rice or you pick rice or noodles. Um, I think this one was about 15 bucks. It used to be 13, um, but you get the, at lunchtime, you also get the green tea and, and the free rice. No, I think you get free rice regardless, but you get the green tea for free. And the green tea was actually pretty good too. So, and it had all this stuff in there and it had like vermicelli noodles in there down there as well. Yeah. So I, it may be 15 or it may be 13.99, but, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so it, yeah, it could be like the tax and tips and stuff, but yeah, I recommend it. If you guys want to go to like a hot pot place, tasty pot is like the way to go for me. Especially it's as an individual, like usually hot pot places are usually all you can eat and stuff like that. And so I left that one, I got to Tasty Pot, I ate there first, and then I was going to make my way to the inn. Uh, traffic wasn't too bad though, right? So, um, 
I got there, I don't know, like around two or three ish. I think around three. And then I had like an hour, I had an hour left, but I went up and so pretty much when I got there, uh, they have this small parking lot and I see like a couple of hobos on the side and I'm like, oh man, okay. Uh, I'm afraid to park outside. So I was like thinking maybe I can just park outside in the street, right? In front of the street, just so I can save myself parking because parking is $19 a night. So I didn't wanna, I want, it's pretty much half the day I'm gonna be gone, right? It's already like four, that's already half the day gone. There, um, there's a parking lot there. I just parked in the front and then I went in. There were like two people in front of me. Uh, so once I got to my turn, uh, they told me everything like, oh yeah, do you need a deposit? Uh, I don't know, it was like 150 or $100 deposit or something. And then, of course, ask you if you want parking. I was like, yes, $19 a night, sure. <sighs> and then I took the elevator. The elevator, you need a card. So I was like, oh, shoot. I put the card in my, my fanny pack. I did have a fanny pack. Um, like, that goes across here. And I, I got to the elevator, and I was like, wait a minute. I, I'm carrying all this stuff, right? And I'm like, dude. Man, now I gotta like try to get the freaking card out. Um, so I was like trying to do that and eventually I got it and then there's people um, later coming in. I think they didn't go up yet. It was just me going up because they were waiting for people. I went up and then apparently I was on the other side of the hotel, the other side, right? And apparently my, my room was on the other side. It's on the other end. <laughs> and it, this is the dirt floor. I'm on the dirt floor, by the way. So I had to make my way through all the, it, it was like, there's a middle section that's like goes in three hallways. And then I was like here, I don't I wish I had a map, but I don't. <laughs> but yeah, I stayed at the Comfort Inn. I think it had the word SeaWorld in it. It was kind of weird, but um, I don't know if it was actually near SeaWorld. Maybe it was. So um, after that, I got to my room. I dropped everything off. I, I did take a video of my hotel. So let's see the, the hotel yeah, I just checked into my hotel. I put my snacks on the table. They have some coffee or TV. So that's the hotel. Not too room. bad. There are some like homeless people like around the outside. It's like one or two, nothing too bad. That's the bed. I haven't checked the bathroom yet. So let's check this out. Okay. 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 My fanny pack. We got some soap, shampoo, shampoo. no mouthwash. So I need to get myself some mouthwash. The bathroom. Eh, the not like super fancy, but it's clean it up, right? Yeah, I see on the news. And that's pretty much a hotel here. We have a closet. Yeah, that, that's true. I, I never use the closet. It's hotel tour. And then um, apparently the windows are pretty dirty. <laughs> so checking in early, the windows kind of actually dirty. And apparently the, the curtain on the back uh, is the one that closes it. Probably go all the way kind of dirty curtains and I thought this was the curtain like but then I looked up there I was like wait a minute don't we go that far I was like okay well at least I got clothes now but yeah so back back to the story that that's my hotel so as I was just chilling in the hotel after unpacking and stuff until the Korean barbecue I was planning to just chill at the hotel and just drive up to Korean barbecue because the Korean barbecue place is like four hour no four miles north and then the convention center was four hour, four miles south. So I'm like, yo, I'm in the middle. I might as well just wait. It's like, it's like four, right? I was, it's four and then the thing starts at seven. So I was just chill for three hours. But then, uh, Farm BZ messaged me and he was like, oh, yo, are you going to TwitchCon? I think I, cause then I posted my, my, my bracelets and stuff, right? On, on Instagram. And then he was like, you going to TwitchCon? I was like, yeah, um, I'm just in my hotel right now. And then after like pondering back and forth if I were to just go there for two hours and then come back. Uh, cause I was just going to drive myself. Yeah. So in the end, eventually I decided to go to meet up and apparently Key Lime Pie was also there. Um, so trying to see if I can meet both of them. And I also hit up uh, one of my mods, Lightbender, and also another Pokemon streamer, Professor Ragna. You, you may or may not know them, but I was hitting them up as well. And then I decided to Uber there to the convention center. And then I wanted to pick a place where it's not crowded and it's cheaper, right? Cause it's, it's like, I think they go by distance and time when they do the, 
the Uber price. So I just picked a random place, TNT Pizza. So that's the place that I picked because I like pizza. I didn't eat there though. Maybe I should have, but I wasn't. I was saving myself for for um, Korean barbecue, right? But yeah, at the price was around fifteen bucks, and then I was trying to like figure out where farm was, right? Just, just like texting back and forth and stuff. <laughs> I was making way with the con, making my way to the con. I found out that him and Key were actually leaving the con. Um, so while they were going to their cars, right? Because they're for parking about to expire, so they they were just gonna head out. Um, I just I decided to meet them near their parking area, and the problem was I was on the other side. Like, I don't have a map, but I I, have, I kind of have a map, but I don't have the map of that location. So, like, let's say the parking was here, I was like on the other side. TNT was like on this side. And I got to make my way over there. So I was just walking all the way there. <laughs> and then I finally met up with them. But Key Lime actually left earlier. Because his I think his is by earlier or something like that. Um, so that was the problem. But I did meet Farm. Right? And he was with his friend. I think his name was Andrew. I'm not sure. I met too many people. I, I kind of try to remember all their names. But it's kind of hard. Um, but yeah. So far. Spoiler alert. Everyone's pretty chill. There's no like freakiness or whatever happening um everyone was nice and stuff <laughs> no issue no issues so we pretty much just talked about like um like what plans and what happened already like they, they told me about the con and stuff like that and they told me that the parking was 60 bucks so the problem is when i was actually talking with them about the stuff and then we left i totally forgot to take a picture with with them it was, they were, it just slipped my mind um, when we were talking about stuff, but, but then, so we did split up after a while. We didn't actually talk for too long because their parking was expiring. So before I left, I gave them my business card. I think I showed you guys the business card, right? I don't have it on me right now. Uh, business card. And then I, I went to hit up Lightbender and Professor Ryan.